Hey, 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 what do you say, folks? Man, I am I'm coming to you guys from San Antonio, Texas today, and <clears throat> unfortunately, it's not for good reasons. Uh, I am on a roof that we did about two years ago. Uh, this is a silicone roof restoration. This is a silicone roof restoration we did. Uh, I think it was about 450, 500 squares. And unfortunately, I got, a, I got an email last week from the property manager, and <clears throat> they were just trying to get some information from me, and confirmed that I did the job and uh, found out that this place was vandalized and uh, I didn't really know exactly what that meant I, I don't know if somebody broke into the building but usually whenever I hear a building getting vandalized it usually has something to do with AC units and uh, sure enough that's what this is today uh, <laughs> this one's a heartbreaker for me too man because this is where my truck was stolen a few years ago so not only my truck but another another guy that worked with me truck too uh you know they got stolen within two weeks time and it's changed my uh changed my view on san antonio a little bit <clears throat> but uh i still love it i just know there's thieves out there everywhere and thieves don't really care but <clears throat> i already did a uh walkthrough and i'm going to show you guys uh most of these units are are pretty gutted you can see uh It looks like they came in and just kind of gutted these things. Uh, I believe a condenser. I'm not going to talk, try to talk too much AC with you guys because I'm not an AC guy. I do uh, work with a lot of AC. I do work with a lot of AC guys in the in the industry, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know what all was missing here. But it looks like they probably had like the condensers and uh, you know whatever was hooked up to the fan is gone. But I'm assuming that probably they did a walk through this things. I'm pretty sure this thing's been vacant for a couple years and. Uh, I'm pretty sure they probably did a walkthrough and found out uh, that some water was coming in and this is why. See they took the condenser there and guess what right here folks. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on for them. That, that right there is what that's supposed to look like. And unfortunately man, right there. Folks that is what you call the promised land because that's the ductwork right into the building and on any hard rain that we get here it's just going to dump in there. It's going to dump in there until it quits raining and uh, that thing drains out and it'll uh, it'll flood a building pretty good. Uh, in addition to that I mean almost all these units they were all pretty old anyways. Uh, that little guy's gutted. I don't even know. They guess just saws on it uh, they got some kind of oil here this is probably from the units themselves uh, it is I will have to get a hold of my rep and uh, see uh, but <clears throat> we should you know with this being silicone and not a lot of stuff st sticking to silicone this should wash right off uh, hopefully we can get some AF cleaner on that and get that washed off so that this roof can continue to perform the way that it does uh, just trying to show you guys all this stuff uh, I got to put a scope to what uh, a scope of work together here and fortunately from what I've seen on, on my walkthrough fortunately from what I've seen it doesn't look like there's a lot of cuts you know anytime you see this let me tell you something about thieves folks they don't care about your roof they don't care about anything they're people that are too lazy to go out and get a job and they got to steal from uh, hard-working people and, and businesses and I ain't got much tolerance for them still don't uh, another one gutted you know and they're probably just coming in here with a couple screw guns taking the stuff apart and just chucking it down but fortunately from what I've seen so far I have not found any punctures I can think I got like one scrape over on another roof and uh, you know we can <clears throat> we can fix that up we'll fix up whatever we see today i'm going to take care of them i've been with these guys for uh quite a while and you know the least i could do is, is take care of them uh i don't know who matthew scott wilkerson is folks but this guy may need some help matthew scott wilkerson i went to jail did you ever or did you just use me to breed bread breed i believe that's breed okay I'm scared. Please actually love me. Come find me. Folks, please. 
Find Matthew Scott Wilkerson, okay? He's got a message over in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, look at this. Yeah, this is all this stuff right here, guys. This is wide open, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just shut these up for them. Not hard. Whatever we can do to keep the water out of here. Look at that. They may have been living on this roof. I don't know what the hell was going on. Uh, but like I said, guys, uh, thieves don't care, man. They, they're some ruthless people. They chuck your stuff everywhere, and they don't care about this roof. But from what I've seen, uh, you know, the damage to the roof was minimal. It looks like the majority of their damage was to these AC units, which are quite old. And uh, this company usually kind of comes through and replaces them anyway after a certain period of time. They're probably waiting on a tenant, but uh, you know, hopefully it's hopefully it's minimal for them and, and something that they were going to do anyway because when i come out here the uh the ac guy came as well so he usually uh comes in right behind me after we do some of these roofs so but unfortunate man it's uh you know the the good thing i am I, I am happy to to say is that this silicone roof restoration is performing really well this was the tpo roof before uh, they didn't know of any leaks. It was a pretty good looking roof. We sealed it up and it looks like it's performing lights out. It's uh, pretty pleased with uh, with how she's looking. You can see uh, there's quite a few penetrations on this roof, uh, but it could have been worse. You know, right there, that's that's still the silicone. That's It's performing really, really well. I got some, uh, got a low spot here. I think I got a low spot over here. You can see I just scratched it clean and she's still she's still doing her job. Uh, I'll take you guys over here. It's basically, you know, fortunately, fortunately the roof's performing well. So, fortunately, she's performing well, and it looks like most of this damage is just AC stuff. So, hopefully, it's an easy fix for them. And, and I, I do believe that uh, they're more than likely going to swap a lot of these out because, <clears throat> based on appearance, these AC units look like they're pretty old anyway. So, uh, this roof has always had accumulation of debris here from these trees. You know, we'll go ahead and get that wrestled off there. That's going to hold moisture. Uh, another, another num nuts. Uh, another unit that's been vandalized. Basically, all these, all these older green ones. I don't know. Uh, they hit a lot of them, man. Uh, I don't know if these guys were smart enough to do this in one night, or if this was something going over time, or or what. But it's sad. Here's a cut. I'm gonna go ahead and fix him up. Uh, nothing, I got some silicone in the truck. He's not, doesn't seem like he's all the way through, but definitely something that's scraped. Uh, we don't want any water having any opportunity to uh, penetrate this roof. So more I can do today to get this thing sealed up, the better off we're gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna show you some stuff over here. They took, uh, I don't know what's in these things. I think there's some, uh, copper it seems like it'd be a lot of work for the amount of copper that they'd be able to get but like I said thieves thieves aren't the most educated people in the world oh oh let me show you this one they even took this uh, exhaust hood now this is a bad leak folks that's usually an exhaust hood okay there's usually a hood a hood above that just like just like that down here 
that right there is supposed to be on this and check this out guys it's freaking pouring in there so <clears throat> i'll try to get something to at least temporarily cover that up uh, maybe even some wood or something get that covered up but it looks like uh the majority of stuff that needs to be done out here are the ac guys uh you know need they need to I would imagine swap these things out i don't even know you can find parts on these old old timers but it's about the gist of it guys uh okay i didn't think i was gonna kick that apart that uh there should be a hole in this roof somewhere around here and we gotta find it because uh that's gonna be a major leak Where did he come from? Where did he come from? That's that's what's missing right there, folks. That's what's missing up on that that one that I just showed you, where we could flip those flip those right in. But uh, we do have a. I gotta find out where this guy came from because I don't I don't even know what's going on here. But I don't know who's gonna do that work. <clears throat> that's what you call a pitch pocket, and that's where the electrical usually goes into the roof and uh i have no idea what they were trying to get there maybe they're stripping those lines down there's a little usually a lot of little copper copper condenser maybe they got that I, I don't know but there is a hole in this roof somewhere and i gotta find him because that's not supposed to come up and hopefully he's in around this area there's another one Really unfortunate. I hate it. But, <clears throat> you know, you see it, probably see it a lot on a lot of these vacant units, vacant buildings. Uh, looks like a little more down here. I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I think you guys get the gist of it. I am happy that the uh, roofers looks like it's performing as, as good as it has. I've got a little spot up here that uh, I want to show you how, how, how well the silicone's performing. And then we're going to probably wrap this up. Uh, oh, here's another. Uh, <clears throat> they just took that unit right there. And there is a uh, little, little cut right there. A little cut right there. So we'll take care of him as well. Uh, so overall, I think two cuts thus far. I'm sure there's probably more. I can't, uh, you know, I'm basically, without seeing the inside and exactly where these leaks are and, and with these units having, uh, with these units being in the condition that they are and some of these covers off of them, man, they're they're probably just wide open and, and pouring, pouring right in in there, so. Um, I'm going to, you know, definitely advise them that we can either get out here with some EPDM and wrap these things up for a temporary solution or, uh, you know, they're going to have to get the AC guys because uh, this building's going to take a lot of water that uh, she doesn't need to take because it's a beautiful building. Uh, this is my low spot. You can see she ponds a little bit of water here. Yeah, folks. Silicone roof restoration is the absolute best thing you can do to TPO. The warranties are better. It's a much superior product. Because nobody, none of these roofs ever shed the water that they're supposed to. And I've, and I've been a big fan of them for quite a few years. So I've been doing them a lot. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you want me to cover any topic, uh, let me know. I will look into it. I'll get you the answers you need. I am a 16 year commercial roofer. Uh, we specialize in repairs, commercial roof repairs, maintenance and commercial roof restorations. Those are our, uh, those are our services. And uh, man, if, you, if you're looking to protect your assets and make your assets last longer, I know a guy that can uh, help you out really, really, that's really good at what he does. So give us a call, 281-928. 4428 I'm going to conclude this and I am going to wrap this up 
I'm gonna say goodbye. I wanna get a little bit nosier on this roof, make a couple repairs that we've got, and put a scope of work together so that this uh, director of facilities can get this property taken care of. So, sadly from San Antonio, Texas on a two-year-old roof that we've done, I'm out of here. Take care.